<clears throat> Shalom Akim. Coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Waha Rakak Wadash Barakatam Akim. Alright, I'm bringing out these scriptures regarding these the animals, you know, primarily the birds of the air, the fowls of the air are going to be uh, summoned to eat the flesh of the uh, of, of the heathen, all right, that go to war with Yahweh Shai in the heavens, all right. So it's a prophecy that these birds, the fowls of the air, are going to eat the flesh of you Edomites, all right, you heathens, man, that are round about, that are going to try to go to war with uh, Yahshua Allah, Israel. The Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian elect. The ones that are going to be in the chariots, which you call UFOs. All right, you're going to be destroyed and brought down to the ground. And your body is going to be food to these animals, man. To these birds. So every everything is going to get its payback. All right. And it's through prophecy. So this is Revelations 19 and 17. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. And he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. All right, Yahweh. So this is a commandment. This is a future prophecy that's going to happen. All right, your body is going to be bird food, man, by these vultures, these buzzards. All right, whatever whatever that's summoned, your, your bodies are going to be um, bird food, animal food all right verse 18 that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and all the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men both free bond both small and great all right and that's going to happen in the uh, the valley of jehoshaphat all right in the in the um the land of megiddo armageddon all right the third world's war all right, starting with you, um, you Russians, you Edomites, all right, you Amalekites that are still left over there, and all the rest of you nations, all right, you're going to be bird food, man. And especially because Esau has destroyed, you know, all the ecosystem. He's destroying the ecosystem, the water, the planet, you know. Um, he's caused all this stuff to go on in the earth, you know, and he has to pay, man, you know. So the animals are going to have... A, a part in, in taking in um, Part of that blessing You know Verse 19 And I saw the beast And the kings of the earth And their armies Gathered together to make war Against him that sat on the horse And against his army That's right So these, these nations These heathens Alright You Edomites You Russian You know Gog and Magog you're going to try to go to war with the uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, after America's destroyed, you know, by thermal nuclear destruction, that you're going to take part in doing. But then you're going to uh, try to fight against the Lord on, on that side of the world, man. But that's where you're going to be, um, uh, become, um, your grave is going to be in the belly of a bird, man. All right. And you're going to actually try to fight against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. And it says in verse 20. And the beast was taken. And with him. The false prophet that wrought miracles before him. With which he deceived them. That had received the mark of the beast. And them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive. Into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. All right. And that's when that um, the ICBM missiles are going to be launched over here to America and be destroyed, man. Okay? But the war is going to continue on that side of the world, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. It, that, it's not going to end when America's um destroyed. All right? So it's going to continue on. Verse 21. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse. Talking about over there in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. All right? Over there in the Middle East. That's where everything's going on, popping off, that turmoil between Syria, you know, uh, these different nations. You know, you got France, you know, Israel, Russia, all right, Iraq, 
you know, China, J- Japan, uh, North Korea. You got all these nations over there that are being stirred up, man. So the remnant they're going to be left over there, that's what was going to happen to you. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse. Talking about Yahweh Shai. He's going to slay you with the breath of his mouth, man. He's going to destroy you with the laser beams. You know, you're going to go to war with Yahweh Shai, Yahweh the Lord of hosts, the angels, man. Which, which sword proceedeth out of his mouth, which is the word. And all the fowls were filled with their flesh. You see? So all the fowl, fowls, the birds, were filled with their flesh. So I'm going to go from there to the book of Ezekiel 39. All right. Which is a future prophecy of Magog, Gog, which is Russia today. The Edomites that are over there right now. This is uh, Ezekiel 39 and 17. And this is this is the prophecy against you, Edomites. Ezekiel 39, 17, which is the same thing that I just read in Revelations chapter 19. They go hand in hand. Future prophecy. And thou, son of man, thus saith Yahweh, speak unto every feathered fowl and to every beast of the field. Assemble yourselves and come. Gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you. Even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel that you may eat flesh and drink blood. See, so these animals are going to really get in, man. They're going to dig into y'all's ass after y'all are, you know, destroyed. Some of you might even be just injured. Is there and they're going to come and destroy you, man. Lions, leopards, you know, um, just diverse different creatures, man. Beasts of the field, they're going to come and take part in, in destroying you, you know. And that's just just because you destroyed the animals. You know, you hurt them, you know. You you made a um a show of them. You you imprisoned them, kept them in zoos, mistreated them, you know. So it's only right that the animals have their payback too. So that's a beautiful thing about Yahweh Bashem El Shai, is that he's gonna allow that. He's gonna uh he hasn't forgotten how the animals want to take part in destroying you, man. All right, this is Jeremiah twelve and four. It says. Uh, how long shall the land mourn and the herbs of every field wither for the wilderness for the wilderness of them that dwell therein? The beasts are consumed and the birds because they said he shall not see our last end. You see, so even the, the land is going to delight in, 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 in uh, eating your ass up, man. You know, they're going to uh, the worms, you know, they're going to uh, start breaking you down and start taking uh, bringing you back into the to the earth, the soil. You know, because they said he shall not see our last end. So you, you're destroying the earth. You're destroying everything, man. So it's only right that Yahweh Bashmi Shai gives the animals their uh, part, part of that blessing, man. All right. Um, Ezekiel 39 and 18. You shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the pr princes of the earth of rams, um, of lambs, of goats, bullocks, all of them fatlings of Bashan. And ye shall eat fat till you be full, and drink blood till you be drunken of my sacrifice, which I have sacrificed for you. Thus ye shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men, and with all men of war, saith Yahweh by Shemiah Washai. So this is a future prophecy, all right, which. Um, on the behalf of all the creatures of the earth that have been, you know, you know, uh, abused and neglected, you know, hurt, you know, um, you know, just diverse wickedness things that they had to go through, man. You know, uh, different spirits hopping on them, bugging them out, you know, the seasons being out of whack, you know, so. They're going to take part in uh, destroying Esau. They're going to take part in destroying these other nations. You two-thirds are going to be bird food, you know, you know, f food to the animals, man. You know, so just like Jezebel, she was a uh, dog food, man. She 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 was mutilated after she f 